a hacking group claims to have source code from three AV companies. Hey Tony, I understand uh, you were looking to, into a story this week about some antivirus vendors that ran into a little trouble with their source code uh, being, I guess, hijacked or stolen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so th this article that I'm going to be speaking about, it, it deals with a uh, Russian hacker group called FXMSB. Uh, they've claimed that they have breached three different antivirus companies uh, very recently and has acquired some of their data. So uh, the actors, they made two major claims with what they announced. Uh, the first one is that they have a uh, persistent remote access to these companies. Uh, the other one is that they have obtained source code for various security products for each of these companies. So items like the source code for their AV or their artificial intelligence models, uh, web security software, and even some of their utilities. The real problem with that is if they look at that source code and find vulnerabilities or exploits or blind spots. The information is uh, being provided by a research security research firm called Advanced Intelligence, where what they've done is they've come across uh, some of the chat logs. Uh, that's where this is really interesting. There's a lot on, on, in the article about the chat logs that they've come across from the resellers and the actual group discussing their um, what they've done, uh, what they're willing to sell, and some of the hurdles that they've, they've come across. Uh, in the chat logs, they actually talked about when they were going through and they were coming across files that the file extensions were named differently or there was no file extensions at all. So when they came across this, the software, it was very hard for them to decipher exactly what they had their hands on. Um, also, they had discussed that it, it took the group about six months to breach the companies, and they used two teams, one out of the U.S. and one out of Taiwan. And then finally... They're talking about how they're willing to sell the source code and what they found from these three different companies for about $300,000 a company. So, yeah, I, uh, you know, it was a really good article. I'd say check it out. So have they actually confirmed that it's true? Like, you know, it seems like a lot of threats, but is there proof? Like, have they said, okay, you got us, or has there been any announcements like that? Uh, when it comes down to the companies in question, uh, from the article that I read, there was no claims yet. So there was no official statements. We also don't know if the malicious actors uh, will actually abide to what they're saying, which is that if they get paid, they're not going to release this. Uh, one of the things I was noticing in their chat logs is uh, that they mention um, the use of TeamViewer and AnyDesk, hmm. which are remote desktop tools. And um, apparently some of these companies uh, allow that through their firewall because they use it legitimately within the company. So, um, you know, that's one of those things where it gets really tricky when you have these remote desktop solutions that are cloud-based, uh, especially when you use them legitimately. And those are two legitimate, perfectly legitimate companies, but the bad actors were smart enough to use the same um, remote desktop type tools that that company was already using, their target was already using, so they could blend in with normal traffic. Right. And um, right, you yeah, you use something else, and all of a sudden alarms will start popping. But if you use the same thing that they're using, it's just normal traffic. Yeah, it makes sense. Why install a bunch of tools when the the system comes with what you need already? Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, interesting story. Um, and you know, not just antivirus companies are targeted. Uh, by this type of thing. It looks like this one was a very specifically targeted, like that was their motivation, was to get into okay. these specific antivirus vendors. But, um, you know, it's always good to learn how one actor behaves, because they all, a lot of them do similar things. So you can learn from one actor right. set, um, uh, even if it's not the same one attacking you.
What I would recommend people do is take a look at some of the articles out there about this, find out if your AV vendor is impacted by it, uh, to find out you know, whether or not you're impacted as a result of that because you use all their products.